This isn't the most expensive Gibson, but it's definitely one of the coolest. Stick around. I haven't owned a Gibson for a few years now. About 10 years ago, I actually toured a bit with an 86 ES335. And I had an ES135, which I sold about five years ago. So this is the first Gibson I've even played in the last five years. Now, the first SG I ever owned was a early 60s model, when it was the new Les Paul. My dad bought one very early on, and when he moved on to a Gretsch Silverjet, I added the SG and began playing it alongside my early 60s Jazzmaster, the one I'd played since I was 12. <laughs> Way back then, I had no idea how cool the juniors and specials were, though. These days, the SG I've most wanted to get my hands on is this one, the single P90 SG Junior. Now, this is a 2021 model, but it does feel a lot like the one from the 60s. It has a very nice nitro-finished mahogany body, a 60s style slim taper neck, a compensated wraparound bridge, vintage style tuners, a 43 millimeter GraphTech nut, and of course, the single volume and tone control. This is a very clean build, and it has a really nice rosewood fingerboard. Let's plug it in. All right, how about some basic tones? As I'm sure you're aware, with a single pickup guitar like this, you really have to use the volume and tone knob to get your different colors. So we're gonna start with both of these knobs all the way up. Back the tone knob off a little bit. And back it off a little more. Turn the tone all the way up and back the volume off just a little bit. Back it off a little more. As you can see, there are quite a few colors in these two knobs. <laughs> Let's get on to the playing demo.
I'd say this one's a winner. Now, if I were being really critical, the fretwork could be just a little bit better. I mean, it plays fine, but it doesn't have the kind of silky playability you get with really first-class fretwork. And even though it plays pretty well, I'm sure with a little expert attention, it could play as effortlessly as any of my guitars. And that's what you want when you have a show to do. So overall, I really like this guitar. It feels like quality, and it sounds exactly as you would expect a great P90 guitar to sound. And while I may slightly prefer the 50 style Les Paul Jr., the super light weight and superb upper fret access are very attractive. Well, I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Don't miss my Play the Blues series on Tuesdays, and I will see you in the next one.